It's a beautiful morning here at Durbanville Racecourse and we've been lucky enough to see Normandy studs ready to run draft going through their paces and they certainly look to be a fantastic bunch and with me is Oscar folks to chat about them. Morning Oscar, always lovely to have you on the show. Thank you, Fee. Fantastic draft working this morning. I thought they moved through their paces really well. I'm really, really happy. I mean, we, we put a lot of effort into the sale every year. It's kind of like the focal point of the year for us and I think we've got a particularly strong lot of horses this year. Now you've got 25 colts and seven fillies, um, some you're selling as agent, but really does look like a strong draft. You're well represented by Wiley Hawley. We did have a, a good chat to John Freeman about Wiley Hawley. He's a, he's a particularly nice stallion. Yes, and you know, if you were to ask an Australian, what would you expect to pay for good looking individuals by a grade one winning son of Redoute's choice? You know, I'm sure it'd be a lot more than what you pay here. Absolutely, and you, you've got some fantastic pedigrees amongst your other horses as well. You're really well represented with top stallions, and of course, Kawari is doing particularly well as well. Well, when the Kawari started running, um, there was just something that caught our eye, and we first booked two services, then and eventually we booked up that to ten services. So we went all in in um, whatever crop would have 2015, which produced these horses, and we've had some got some nice yearlings. And then we bought some extras as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just think he is an extraordinary stallion. His first three crops, one in 10 foals, that's not runners, one in 10 foals is a, is a black type winner. His percentage of winners from foals, and again, I make the distinction, winners from foals, not winners from runners, is something like 70%. Um, so he is, ex I mean, numbers are extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was really, really impressed with your draft this morning. And of course, you've done really well at this sale in previous years. Well, in fact, this morning I did a Facebook post out Throwback Thursday um, of 2015. In one draft, we had Sergeant Hardy, Nordic Breeze, Crowd Pleaser, and Vicious Bounty. Um, and then, you know, last year, um, Can You Feel It? The year before was Wonder Wall and Barrack Street. So they've been top horses come through this draft every single year and you know I think from a buyer's perspective it's an absolute no-brainer because the horses are two years old they've been broken by somebody else they're ready to just about go nominate and they qualify for a sales race for two and a half million rand there's only 116 lots left on the sale maybe there'd be some more withdrawals so your chance of getting to the sales race are very good and then a few of these horses have gone through other sales so there's a clover flay farm sale race there's the CTS millions, and um, plus the sale produces quality. So, I mean, why would you buy anywhere else? Yeah, it's certainly very well proven, and, and then the sale with lots of incentive to buy from. And as I said, your horses look particularly well this morning. They've got beautiful actions, and you don't really want to see more than that. We weren't looking at them to get up to see who was the winner, but the, the superb actions on them. Yeah, it's, and you know, I've been watching these gallops for a few years now, and just because the horse hasn't won the gallop doesn't mean, it's, not that this, it's a race in the gallop, but even the one that started slightly, you know, lagging a bit, even those go on and win races. I mean, I remember Grapevine, who wasn't that impressive in his gallop here. He won six races. Um, so, you know, the horses do evolve. We don't want to do too much with them because they've got long careers ahead of them. You know, it's, there's a, you don't squeeze all the water out of, out of, out of that, that stone. I couldn't agree more, but this is a great starting point. So they've been here this morning, they've had a nice breeze along, they'll be ready to come to the gallops on the, on the morning of the sale. And of course, we're selling in the same day later on in the evening. Yes, so there should be enough time to watch the gallops, vet whatever needs to be vetted, and then, you know, rush to get that buyer's card and start bidding. Yeah, it really is a super sale. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there and your horses sell well. Thank you very much for having us this Thanks, morning, Steve. Oscar. Thank you. Well, it was wonderful chatting to Oscar folks this morning. I must say he's got a really, really smart draft going to the ready to run sale and I'm looking forward to seeing them all there.